Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we'll cover the automatic data acquisition in WinTest for ElectroForce test systems. As I open the waveform setup window, we can notice that there is now a data acquisition section to the right. There are two tabs in this section, one for time data and one for peak valley data acquisition. In time data, as I change from none to continuous, we can see that it will require data at a default rate of 100 points per cycle, and it'll take continuous data with no delays between data sets. We can see that the test duration will be 16 minutes and 39 seconds. And based on the data settings, the estimated file size is five and a half megabytes. As I change the frequency and or cycle count of the waveform, we'll notice that some of the data acquisition settings will change. Because I increase the number of cycles, the data file size increases to about 5 gigabytes. Since this is above 1 gigabyte, WinTest identifies this as a large file and highlights this red. This flags me to reconsider my data acquisition settings. Since this is such a long test, I will reduce the amount of data I'm collecting by adding a scan interval between each data set. This will take one scan, then delay by 10,000 cycles, and take another scan, and so on and so forth. Peak Valley Data Acquisition has similar settings, and to reduce the number of data points I need to analyze later, I will add a scan interval here too. I now click OK to save my waveform and the associated data acquisition settings. When I click Run and review my test settings, I notice that the time data and Peak Valley are active. Data acquisition will automatically start when I start this test. Notice in the test status window that both time data and Peak Valley acquisition are active. Data acquisition will automatically start when I run future tests. In this tech tip, we cover the automatic data acquisition in WinTest for ElectroForce test systems. Stay tuned for more helpful tips from TA Instruments, and thank you.